The Merrick Show. Please subscribe. Marek, do you want an orange lemonade? did you do that? Not me. A science. Do you want to see more? You bet. This is my laboratory. I'm the best scientist ever. I'm gonna show you a cool experiment. Volcano eruption. Prepare a beaker and pour in 30 milliliters of water. Add five drops of red pigment and mix well. Now we need a glasses. It will be a huge eruption. Are you ready? Yes. Use a dropper to set the prepared red pigment water Whoa. into the crater. At this point, you can observe the effect of the volcano eruption. Ta -da! Good, but it's very common. Huh? Can I try something? Okay, but be careful. Add 70 milliliters of water, 200 milliliters of cooking oil, and 10 drops of coloring to the conical flask in turn. Put half of an effervescent tablet into the conical flask. The bottom of the conical flask gradually rises upwards in a beautiful and spectacular lava. Wow! Where did you learn that? On YouTube. Wow. Okay, I will show you another one. Ferris wheel. Take out about 10 to 12 rainbow candies. Color staggered and evenly placed in a circle around the plate. Gently pour about 30 milliliters of room temperature water into the center of the plate. Ooh, can you see the colors? Yes, the pigments meet inside and make a wheel. Exactly. Do you want to see mine? Hmm. It's named Walking Water. Set your three measuring cups about two inches apart. Pour water into the first and third cup until it's halfway full. Add a few drops of different coloring to the water. Take a strip of paper towel and fold it until it's one to two inches wide. Place one end of the paper towel strip into the colored water and the other end into the empty cup. And the best is... Nice, nice. Okay, but this one you would not know. Using three measuring cups to measure 30 milliliters of water, 10 milliliters of sugar, and 10 milliliters of detergent. Bubble water, right? Huh? Yes. Use the bubble container or straw to blow bubbles. Nice. But try this one. Pour 100 milliliters of water and 20 milliliters of detergent into a large beaker. Stir well. Use scissors to cut off the bottom of the plastic bottle. Put a thin cloth over the cut bottom of the bottle. Drop pigment on the cloth. Use more drops of different pigment for better results. Hold the bottle to dab the cloth with detergent water and blow from the mouth of the plastic bottle to the inside. A rainbow bubble dragon will appear. Bubble dragon. Okay, I have to admit that you are a better scientist than me. I will show you who's the best. <laughs> I will show you. <laughs> this is me. This is you. Where the ice block ends, the one wins. Yay!